Hello our dear viewers, this is the GSTV News Update. Museveni approves Kaihura's retirement. President Yoweri Museveni has finally approved 110 Uganda People's Defense Officers to retire from service. Top on the list is former Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihula. According to UPDF spokesperson Felix Klaije, Kaihura is among nine other generals lined up for retirement from the military this month. UPDF Deputy Spokesperson Kano Akik said, What I can confirm is that the general will be among the ten generals to retire from the UPDF. We wish the general the best of his retirement time and we shall always consult him as one of the mentors of most of us remaining behind in active service. At the rank of a Foster General, Kaihura is the most senior among the 10 retiring senior military officers. Other officers include Major Generals Waswam Tesasira and Joseph Arocha, who are two ranks below General Kaihura, while Brigadiers Stephen Oluka, Justin Atwoch, and others are three ranks below former IGP. It should be remembered that on March 4, 2018, General Kaihura was removed from the position of IGP, which he held for over 12 years and was replaced by his then deputy, Martin Okoth Ochola. In June the same year, he was arrested in an operation spearheaded by the Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, CDF Wilson Imbadi, who is now the Chief of Defense Forces. In his last days as IGP, General Kale Kaihura had proposed that suspects with capital offenses like murder, terrorism, and robbery should be held for at least 90 days before being taken to court to enable investigators gather more than enough evidence for a successful prosecution. After being arrested by the army he served, General Kaihura was detained at military police headquarters at Maki, India for 76 days without trial. He was later arraigned in the court martial where he was charged with three counts. The first count was failure to protect war materials contrary to Section 122, Clause 1 of UPDF Act 2005. The particulars of this count indicated that between 2010 and 2018, Kaihura allowed the use of arms and ammunition by the unauthorized persons, including members of the Border Border 2010, headed by Abdallah Chitata, who was jailed before him. The second count was that General Kaihura failed to supervise and ensure accountability for the arms and ammunition issued to specialized units under the office of the IGP flying squad, witness protection unit, and the crime intelligence directorate of Uganda police forces. The third count slapped against General Kaihura was aiding and abetting kidnapping from Uganda. Despite the troublesome incidents General Kaihura faced in the last five years, he is credited for transforming the police force in terms of numbers, training, weaponry and setting up structures. General Kaihura built several regional and district police offices, spearheaded the installation of CCTV cameras, and started the construction of police housing units. He encouraged, supported, and recruited young athletes into the police force, and they have won the country numerous Olympics and Commonwealth gold medals. If nothing changes, General Kaihura is set to retire a billionaire since he will have to receive all five years' salary. Thank you for watching GSTV Africa. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.